protesting judiciary workers gather at the main entrance of the High Court to continue their demonstration. It's the third day of the protest. While the protest is underway, a detachment of policemen drafted to the scene to maintain law and order dispersed the gathering with tear gas canisters. So, Nigerian police declare war against us. The chairman of Jusun, Oshun State Council, tells Channels Television that some of their members sustained injuries as a result of the action of the police. Owing to the situation, an indefinite industrial action will continue as they drive home their demands. As of yesterday, when the committee, the committee inaugurated came to us, we told them that the picketing still subsists and that after our deliberation, we will go on here to declare by ourselves that our matter has been resolved. But they now came with full force, hefty security officers with harm. So they now came. And after that, what we saw was that they started shooting at us, spirodically. And in fact, some media that even came with us that were on ground to cover the whole were injured. Many of my members were also injured. Since the Honorable Chief Judge has declared war against all our workers. We are left with no any other option. So on that note, I am saying again, and I want to reiterate on that, that all judiciary workers should stay at home. Thank you until further direction. While the Justin officials press home their demands, the Ocean State Police Command is quick to say that the police use the canisters to disperse the crowd and not to injure anyone. Today, when they refuse to, you know, to leave the place, uh, we have to use minimum force. And that is what we can use is to, is to tear gas that area. So that when we, when we smoke the area, everybody will disperse. And that was what happened. It's not meant to injure anybody or to do anything. And it doesn't even injure. It's, it's, only, to, you know, it's only to ensure that they disperse, they leave that premises. Since we have been using all other means all other methods that we know to talk to them, to appeal to their, you know, to their consciousness, to appeal to them, to, you know, to be able to leave the place, and they refuse to leave. The chairman of the Oshu State House of Assembly Committee on Justice, Komi Ajibola, said the allegations brought against the Chief Justice is now the subject of an investigation where all parties will be heard. They have the right, they have the right to protest peacefully and they have the right to industrial action. They can go on strike to to, to push to push in their demands from the authority. But it must not be violently done. And that's we've advised them on. But based on the coming to the petitions we have before us, everybody will be given sense of fear hearing and we are going to dispense justice. With the intervention of the state legislators and other stakeholders, one will expect that the judicial crisis in Oshun State will come to an end soon.